Good morning, YouTube. We are going to play Between the Stars today. Good morning, good morning. If you're watching this as a VOD, let me know. Very much appreciated. Welcome on board. Uh, a complete live let's play. Let's see what's going on here. See what's happening. Damn, this game is loud already. And, uh... Oh, okay. English. Accept. Sorry, my chat is missing a bit. Uh, where are we? Start campaign, start campaign, start campaign. But is there also a... Hello? Is there an options menu? Hello? Damn. Okay, no, there's none. <laughs> and all tapping is, of course, that one. There we go. There you are. Last played June 2019. Oh my god, this game has been in development for a long, 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 long time, huh? Seems like it also stopped developing in between. Well, anyway, version 1 is out, uh, which means the game released officially um, on uh, March 7th. Yeah, exactly. I got the key from Isolated Games. Thank you very, very much for uh, supporting me with the key. And we are going to take a look right now. Uh, later on, we're probably going to play a little bit more Skyrim on Twitch. Uh, on Twitch alone, if you are interested in that, my first run ever Skyrim. I'm playing right now on Twitch, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, leave a follow, come there, be there. Same 2019, oh god. We have some time here. Wait, what, what, what? Ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, now, now is the day, right? Yeah, great. Yeah. I'm going to do that, 100%. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. I remember. Uh, the weekend was just wild. Had a lot of stuff going Okay, so. Ah, there it is. Settings. Sound. Music volume is crazy. Oh my god. It's still crazy. Okay. Video! Ultra! Full screen? No. Well. Oh, yes. Vsync enabled? Uh, motion blur disabled. I like that. One of the developers that actually knows that a lot of us don't like that. Uh, volumetric. I love. Why is it clicking twice every single time? Ship details. Increase graphical detail of any ship. Enable. Engine brightness. Ah, the engine image. Good. Game UI scale. Probably a little bit higher so that you can see something. It's better. Um, and we're good. We'll learn everything on the on the run. What's a prologue? I don't know. There's a prologue. Let's start with that. Is YouTube already running? Yeah. Great. Motion blow is working if you have more than... 80, it's not really where we have very low FPS. Okay. Prologue, let's go. Let's go. Alert. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Crew, boost warp drive to full power! But, Captain... I said full power! That's an order! Redistributing power. Capacitors charging oh. in four, three... Whoops. Okay. Just a bit more. Whee! Warp successful. We've made it. Oh, uh, interesting. This is like... Ah! <laughs> cool. My Damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. 
Testing main engines. Oh. Engine power is adjustable. There are four indicators displaying your speed. Green indicators for your forward speed. Red indicators for re re rearward speed. Or blank when stationary. Use keypad or mouse wheel. Oh, yeah. Wait, where's... Ah, the lower right corner. Okay, I see. Lower right corner is your power. Boom. Moderate damage. Engines operational. We. Oui. Testing navigation systems. Use WS to tilt the ship forward and backward. AD to turn ship left and right. Okay. And Q and E to rotate. Awesome. Navigation systems operational. So far, Testing so power easy. System. What's that? That looks like something that can be mined. Um, the energy control system reassigned. Up arrow. Left arrow. Right arrow. Power distribution correct. Oh god, okay. There is no resetting. Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. Ships have a deflector shield and we're going to X to change the camera mode to 360. Press and hold right the most button. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I guess it's, it's good. Uh. Captain, reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. Press 2 to launch nuclear missile against an enemy ship. What the? Whoa. Wait, what? I want to see the missile hit. I want to see the missile hit. Ah, it's not working. Ah, it's on. It's on blue down. I wanna, I wanna try the missile. Give me, give me a second. Ah, oh, come here. Come, 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 come. Bam! Oh my god. Good work, team. Is everyone all right? Woo! Nice. Captain. I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. But I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. How did I do that? Ah, here. Okay. How do you... Left click? Ah, holding. Ah, okay, cool. Salvaging. Ah, okay, I see. Wait. System analysis. I'm confused. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. All right. My, what's our current position? I can do it just from here. We are here. currently okay, in the Thamus 6 sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Okay. Wait, stop. No warp drive. Need to loot. Loot! Give me loot! There you go. Oh, what? Access the star map. Okay. Can go up and down. Can you move? Ah, right click. Okay, where? Click on Tacit Stella sector. There. Warp drive engines damaged. Jump impossible. Ugh. My. Which is the closest space station in this sector? 
It's the train station and terrace port. Okay. Set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Space station known. Areas and anomalies in the same sector will show up on the screen. In order to move faster, we can use the quantum engines. Before charging the engines, make sure there is space in front of the ship so as not to crash. Oh, interesting. Wait. Okay, I think there. <laughs> uh, press G to start charging the quantum engines. My situation report on Antero's port. Accessing database. Woo. Like this the, station the serves as a crucial hub port. for business tycoons so, and mining sector speculators. It has that? a large port ah. specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. Is G also stopping the engine? Oh, I don't need to stop the engine. Captain Scott from the Fifth Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Okay. When you reach your friendly allied session, you will be assigned a docking bay. It will be highlighted as operational to dock, fly to the highlighted area, and fly into the light. <laughs> You need more precision of movement. You can make use of the lateral and vertical thrusters. Use left shift, left control to move the ship vertically. And use uh, Z and C to move the ship laterally. Ah, I need to change that. Yeah, change that. Uh, EU keyboard. Gotta change. Oh. No! Key bindings. Ah, oh, key bindings. <laughs> okay. Um, left is Y. Replace Y. Since European keyboard. Done. Oh, yeah, now it makes sense. What the frick was that? All right. Um, enter the highlighted area at low speed. Stop the ship with stop the ship within the highlighted area. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Lancer. Good morning. Ah, oh, Sheldy, give me a second. For the hydration. Wait, what's going on? Am I... What? How do you dock? Ah, oh, there. Okay, I will get used to this. No problem. Hey, JB. What ship is that? I have no idea. I just started. This is... Uh, this is the... Prologue. So I have no idea. Station looks nice. Looks like an X4 station. <laughs> Looks like a Terran station, if I'm honest. Those connection modules look like Terran connection modules. <laughs> Where's my ship? Wait, where the heck is my ship? Oh, there. Here, the damaged one. But this was X4 and was confused. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Something else. Access points on space stations or plants will be marked with an orange selectable box. In these locations, you will find what services are available. And other unique events. Seeing what each st station has to offer can help you weather the dangers of the galaxy. To move around the station. Right click to move the camera around the station. Position the cursor of an orange box to see the area. Orange box. Those. Right? Or those. No? Okay. 
Um, da -da -da -da. The red area indicates the zone's exit point. Click it to leave the session or planet you are on. Planet! Interesting. Gun shop. <laughs> I cannot click anything on the on the station itself, right? Go to the docks. And now? You encountered a great commotion around the freighters at the station when you exit your ship. You hear shouts from every direction and merchants bidding every incre ever increasing numbers for the goods. You and your crew leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. Find yourself distracted by the neon signs when someone bumps into your shoulder. Look down. <clears throat> Unknown woman. Ouch, that hurt. It is a scruffy young woman who begins to quickly pick back up the spanners and metallic objects of all sorts she had been carrying as she gets back on her feet. Don't worry, are you hurt? No, it was entirely my fault. Oh, excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Susan. I'm the head of the Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. What can I do for you? Actually, we were just looking for a repair shop for our ship. You walk together to Docking Bay where your ship is located. Susan rubs her eyes incredulously. What? No way! A KP-564SC warship. There's your answer, JB. We're flying a KP-564SC warship. <laughs> hey, Arkman. Good morning. Ali, good morning. Welcome on board. Or tambourines. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's completely... Totaled. How did you manage to... Uh, Alright, we can do it. But it won't be cheap or easy. The repair cost greatly exceeds your credit account. After negotiating, you agreed to handle a series of tasks for her in return for the repairs. In the meantime, you will be given a completely operational ship. A very small one, I guess. Susan, do you know where we can find the communications room? Of course, Captain. There's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way. Large space stations often have a transmission system highly superior of that norm of normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. You walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay, where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you are allowed to enter and spot the transmission crew busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You're granted a terminal in order to send a situation report to the Republic. Captain Scott here. We're transmitting from Anteros Point in Sector Thama 6. Captain, Spots, we're... Captain Scott, we were expecting your arrival two days ago. Explain the situation. Yes, sir. We ran, we ran into problems. We were following the trail of a slaver network in the Lithoba 1 sector. We infiltrated their base and secured the intelligence that you requested, but our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought we had left them behind when we arrived at this sector, but they were intercepted. But we were intercepted. We finally managed to finish off the enemy ships, but two of my crew members lost their lives and the Genesis was practically destroyed. Sorry to you there, Captain. We'll give them a send-off they deserve. Where's the current status of the Genesis? Our ship is damaged. Currently, it is inoperative. As soon as it's repaired, we'll return to headquarters for the Stellar Summit. As one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, it's your duty to be present and escort our guests upon their arrival. The most experienced captain. I just started the game. Stop it. Why do we always need to be the hero? Every governing body of the galaxy shall attend and set aside their differences in favor of a new era of peace and prosperity. Don't worry, blah, blah. Okay. My ship is gone. Oh, no. No, there is a... Oh, God, there is a small one now. With a commercial area. Accept the contract, the Antares Freighter. <laughs> of course, obviously. <laughs> they always be expecting the random guy who just showed up to be the hero. Yeah, right? Always. 
I like that. That sparks you get when you uh, when you've done a quest. Uh, the Atheros Freighter. Okay, I guess store contracts repairs. Okay. Captain Scott. Nah, this is me. For now, at least. In order to repair the ship, we will need an ion reactor. This usually would not be a problem if we had the needed materials. But that is not the case. We have not had any news from the space freighter E-36 Pulsar repair ship in two days. Two Earth days. Its crew is not answering any hails and their last coordinates show it approaching an asteroid field known as Antros Cemetery. We need you to find them. All right. Pew. I like that. <laughs> okay, good. Um, leave. Game saved. Leave the station. What's my new ship? Oh my god. Oh, it's a Normandy! Everyone to their posts. We must find that missing freighter. It's a Normandy! Captain, do you think it could have been an attack? Somehow. It's strange. A little bit like a Normandy. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2-08. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, PC only? Yeah, I think so. Not sure, but I think so. But hey, you can play this on Steam Deck. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Cute little game, but definitely not X4. <laughs> no. Hey, Yuki. Cute little game. I don't know if it's that little. I don't need to stop, right? Yeah, I don't We've need to stop. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Mai, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. What is this? Oh, that's the station. I always want to fly with my mouse. Oops. That's not it. <laughs> I want to. I want to fly with the mouse. Need to get used to using the keyboard. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. Okay. Mine, prepare the analysis module. Preparing the scan system. Aim at the debris and hold right, right mouse button to scan the source of the radiation. Scan complete, Captain. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration radical. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. Mai, can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Establishing route. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Welp. Okay. Sorry, I'm just shooting everything that I that I see. That's me. I'm just shooting everything.
Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Sure. Affirmative. Ex Pleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Nope. Surrender, or we'll open fire. Open fire. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar mm. Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Can't. Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? <laughs> you asked for it. You asked arm. for it. Oh no, what's going on? I cannot shoot anymore. Hello? Haha. Uh -huh. Who's now the hunk of chunk? Chunk of hunk? Hunk of chunk? Oh, I see on the left side there is an indicator. Yeah. Hello? What are these shots that are coming out there? What are the what are those things? What am I what what, what are these? Are those um god what are those uh point defense point defense or something? Captain, the ship's remains correspond to the freighter we've been searching for. We have to look for survivors and confirm the shipment was mm. in fact stolen. Preparing to board. What? Wait, board? Give me a second. <clears throat> Point defense cans, yeah, probably. Yay. Mm, redacted. Hey, walk on board. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. Explore the freighter's remains. <laughs> Everything just left. You enter what is left of the freighter as the bait. Red. Alert. The Penguin Guru rated space operations delta with 27 viewers. Wow. The Penguin, thank you so much. Welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Also, you're still in here. Can you shout out, please? Cobalt Core. Interesting. Thank you. Welcome on board. Um... <laughs> I don't I don't understand how I got this honor honor but um I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Raiders, welcome on board. Cheers. One on you. Oh, we played Nebulous Fleet Command in um on that uh, demo day. Start uh, stream next from. fest. Okay. Drinking time for some. Get your glasses, lock your shoe. Cheers to the captain and the crew. Thanks. Cheers. Excellent space combat. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's, it's a mixture between uh, space combat and RPG. Kind of fun, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Um, you enter what is left of freighter as the bay doors close behind you. Inside, you find the remains of what is used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sorts of supplies and objects strewn on the floor along with what was once the crew. Yikes. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passageway with two possible paths. Go to the right. Your crew and you advance through the corridor you have chosen. The further into the ship you go, the more you feel you are not alone. After a while, you reach another split in your path. Go to the left. You reach a small room where the way forward leads to two different directions again. One of the specialists says, Captain, I think we've been here already. Wait, how is that possible? Right, left, uh, no. 
You look a bit closer and you're almost sure you're back at the first turn you made. What the heck? Okay, then go to the left. Your crew and you advance through the corridor you have chosen. The further into the ship you go, the more you feel you're not alone. After a while, you reach another split in your path. Go to the right. You reach a small room where... Oh my god! Okay, then go to the right. Go to the right. After walking in circles, you arrive at a hallway and a large hatch open before you. This is as if you're walking a reclaimer. It's a crazy big ship, huh? Peering through the door frame into the darkness, you can make out a faint light. Let's enter. As soon as you enter, the bay doors close and the lights turn on. <laughs> Happy birthday party. At the back of the room, you see the raw protonite shipment stacked in rows, emitting pale rays of light. You are surprised by a robotic voice, which seems to be the ship's MAI, May system. It's called May system, right? Yeah. Intruders detected in the loading bay, activating security protocol, opening evacuation hatches. Halt, we are the crew of the Genesis of the Republic. The AI waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening suspended, validating credentials. Error, they are intruders. Charisma plus six, what does that even mean? I demand to speak with the captain immediately. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to roll the dice. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. A four. Failure. <laughs> <sighs> Reminds me of Elite Dangerous. Uh, not really. Hey, Sargal Hounds, welcome boy. Suddenly you see big eggs that are open and something jumps in your face. <laughs> hey, Stiletto. The captain has no time to speak with intruders. Establishing analyze probably of the probability of the intruders not identifying themselves as intruders is 100%. The bay doors begin to open their crew and you grab hold of what you can. The force of the vacuum pulls you forcefully towards them. The weakest of your crew members begin to have trouble holding on. One wounded. Okay, then we are intruders. 0% <laughs> probability of the intruders identifying themselves as intruders. Establishing analyzes error. The AI begins to calculate probability, seeming confused. Oh my god. <laughs> what are your orders, May? The May system has to ensure the security of the shipment and is tasked with eliminating the intruders who would take it. If we want to protect the shipment, you would be the intruder that is jeopardizing it. Analysis error. Fatal logical error. Intruder destruction. The bay doors close behind you, eliminating the risk of being expelled through them. The AI continues to unspool a litany of errors until it comes to the conclusion that it must eliminate itself. You hear its voice turn off as you ensure everyone is safe. What the heck? That was close. Let's return to the Genesis with the shipment. You load the crates of Protonite onto the ship and you set out to search for any log entry that might explain what happened. The engineers try a few working terminals. The few working terminals left, but all data appears to be corrupt. You make a backup copy to be able to study it later. Right. Let's go back to the station to inform Susan. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? x players weapons do not correspond to the Sorry. radiation we've been I'm following. I'm just trying. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. Okay. You're lucky that you got some um plot armor. <laughs> Go back to the space station, all right. Let's go. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, 
Is this game finally complete? Yes, Chachosi, welcome on board. Uh, this game uh, reached uh, 1.0 four days ago. So... Uh, story completed. And... Features completed, as far as I understood. That blood armor is too thick for blasters, that's true. You know. Comms chief, request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Captain Collins would like to remind the passengers to follow this channel and even subscribe to enlist as a crew member of Space Operation Delta. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, thank you. Damn it. Got something in my eyes. I'm sorry. All right. I think we're good. Let's go. I think we're good. What is it? Oh, how do I get there? <laughs> this... I want to steer with the mouse. I'm so confused. I don't want to steer with the keyboard. I want to... I want to control the throttle with my keyboard. And I want to fly with the mouse. But that's not possible, huh? Where is the docking bay? Ah, oh, there. My goodness. Yeah, there is where, where you need to be. Oh, 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 oh. No, wait, right there. All right, great. Right. Like I said, we'll probably get used to this. Add power to engine to fly faster. <laughs> uh, go to docking bay. Pew. Upon arriving at the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located. There you spot Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You're back! Have you found anything? Susan looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. Uh, They were violently butchered. Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. That can't be. I've known the pilot ever since we were kids. Were you able to recover the cargo? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, I lost a childhood friend. You got the loot? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy writing. Uh, yes, we were able to recover it. Well, at least there is some good news. Our crew is currently working hard on the repairs. Since you need the ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineers could help us. Could you process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new iron reactor? Of course, loot everything else. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have obtained your first blueprint, and with it, the spec specified amount of materials you need to create that object within the department sections of your inventory. In this section, you will find different areas of your ship that your crew members can work on. Okay, let's see. Press I to access the inventory. Yay. The engineering workshop allows the. Where? where? Where is this? Engineering workshop. Store? Stash? Station? Systems? Departments? Ah, yeah. The engineering workshop allows you the creation of objects via blueprints and the required materials. Uh, the scrapping workshop allows you to destroy weapons and systems to obtain resources. The sick bay is a zone dedicated to restoring your crew members' life points and, re and curing them of diseases. The research lab allows you to study different objects to progress in events, obtain cures to different viruses, and obtain blueprints that let you procure better weapons than those of standard quality. Viruses. Oh, I hate viruses. Um, go to the department scrapping workshop scene in the inventory tab and scrap the raw protonite. What? What is the raw protonite? How do you... Where is it? Here. Ah, yeah, okay. Plus. 
Raw Protonite. Damn it. Raw Protonite. Ding. Okay, great. Uh, with the obtained materials, fabricate an iron reactor. Engineering workshop. This thing here, I guess. Yeah. You're... An excellent job. With this, we'll have everything we need to finish the repairs. I have another favor to ask of you while we finish things up. Speak with me when you are ready to go. Okay. Um... Light Cannon of the Republic. Light Cannon. I, I don't want to spend anything here. This is just the prologue, so who cares? Accept the contract, the inspection. Ah, I, could, I should have stayed there just simply. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, we have stopped receiving protonite shipments after the attack on the freighter. We cannot guarantee the safety of the commercial route to the mining stations in the sector. Inspector Howard Huggins must fill out his forms immediately. Transport him and evaluate the station's status. Right. And, and, and now? We get it? We got that dude on board already? Reserve. Interesting. That dude on board? Do they all have like pictures? Oh, funny. Okay. <laughs> the camera goes up and down. Funny. Why are all the the women are all small? The men are all big. Interesting. Okay, I think we go. Well. We have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. Howard Huggins. Order. You lack bridge privileges. Dot dot dot. So now I have a babysitter? Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. The last Protonite shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. <laughs> We're sure of that. Hey, Rashu, good morning. Welcome aboard. The inspection. Let's go. By the way, we're still in the prologue, if you wonder. Um, this is not like a new game? I don't know. I, I have no really... I don't really have a clue what, what, how, when the prologue will stop, what is going on or whatsoever. I don't know. What the hell? These transport ships are not ours. It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. This can't be. We have to register this immediately. Oh, this is not only really dangerous ship. Um, this is a, oh God, I forgot the name of it. I said it before the, uh, it's a Normandy. There you go. Looks a little bit like a Normandy. At any moment in the game, you can access photo mode in it. Time will hold and you have complete control over the camera and its parameters in order to take spectacular pictures. <laughs> Save them directly to your computer or press the button to hide the interface and take a screen cap with Steam's own system. Press P. Good thing is that you can abuse this as a pause. <laughs> you can just simply abuse it. It's too dark. And you, oh, what was that? Okay, interesting. I need a brighter system. I was asked to drop my cargo. That's not true. Ah, we'll find something. Oh, whatever. 
Just photography values to your liking and take a picture. Oh, okay. Wait, how do you... Ah, interesting. Ah, okay. Ooh, nice. Wait, uh... Oh, this is act. This is, is this made for Xbox actually? Look at the buttons. It looks like like e Xbox buttons. Maybe this is also made for Xbox. Okay, how do you take a picture? A. How do you... How the heck do you take a picture? Oh. Please wait. Okay, cool. There you go. Very intuitive. Yeah, when the not. foreman finds out, heads will roll. Vahiyu, welcome aboard. What game? Um, the title should say it. Does the title not say it? Between the Stars. Yeah, the title says it. And the thumbnail says it. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, let's go. Captain, we have to go back to the station now. What happened? I forgot my lunch. Ugh. Mr. Huggins. False alarm. I found it. Captain, there's no sign of activity on the station. Captain. It looks completely abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. Oh, God. I'll stay on the ship, uh, co covering your backs. True. Sure. That looks nice with that, uh... Wait. Up it. Yeah, that looks cool. Can you like go up and down? Oh yeah. Up? How do you go up? Shift was up! <laughs> R, F, is there, here? What the? How do you go up? Spacebar. This doesn't make any sense. When your sh when your ship wants to move up and down, you use control and shift. When the camera goes up and down, you use control and and space bar. Yeah, uh, someone someone forgot that there's something called uh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like. Great. Now that we're taking some pictures, we can move on. <laughs> oh, it's important to take your pictures, right? Like the big flashlight on the ship. Yeah, that's that's kind of cool, isn't it? Wow, <laughs> the controls are a little bit different than uh, what I'm used to. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay, when the light is green, you can just simply stop because you're already at docking. The, the, the docking part. Only 
Main entry. And now FPS. Oh. <laughs> Would have been cool, but it's it's a it's a spaceship RPG. It's not a space legs RPG. The dock bay doors open and the captain and her crew enter a large reception hall. Currently, only the emergency lights are on, casting a dim light over the remains of broken furniture strew, strew, strewn, 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 strewn. How the heck do you say that? Strewn. Strewn. <laughs> strewn. Covered. Why don't you just simply use covered or littered? No, it's strewn. Okay, well, whatever. Currently, only the emergency lights are on, casting a dim light over the remains of broken furniture strewn around the floor, forming large mounds of rubble. Um, we need to reactivate the generators. You search a room for an emergency terminal to reboot the systems. After a few minutes, you find the generator room. Captain, we detect an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work again. <laughs> Don't need to fix it myself. Uh, go ahead, try it. Systems upgrade. Who? Jessica Thompson. Level 11 engineer. Yeah, there's like... When we're out... <laughs> when we're out of the prologue, we will not have level 11 staff. So that's like one indicator that we're still in the prologue. Go ahead, try it. Roll the dice. Three or more. Results are not, do not add up. Got a nine. Yay. Can you put legs on the ship though? <laughs> I don't know. It said something about uh, on planets. So there seems to be planet landing. So yeah, legs on the ship is actually a thing. Uh, your crew system upgrade a level allows you to succeed. The team analyzes the damage with minute care and prepares a temporary solution. Yeah, exactly. A few minutes later, they have managed to construct an apparatus that re-establishes the flow of power temporarily. Well, how, can you skip it in Baldur's Gate, for example? Great job. Let's continue. With the lights on, you can see clearly the level of destruction in the room. A dust cloud envelops the area. Among the rubble, you can see buried human remains. You make your way through when suddenly you hear one of the bodies is still breathing. Let's help him. Upon digging out the body, you realize he's still alive. Is this moving? Yeah, it's moving. They came. We resisted... The man moves his arm slowly and pulls out an ID card, handing it to you before passing out. Press, we need to find out what happened. Aye, okay. Uh, you advance through one of the hallways. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and blood. You reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you can see a small keycard reader. Team, can you try to hack the terminal? Seven plus. Okay. Well, let me try to... I cannot click anything. Wow. Let me roll my own dice. <laughs> Your engineering team gets to work and starts manipulating the terminal. A few minutes later, you hear an electric sound and the alarm begins to blare. Alert, alert, code 94. Intruder detected. Send a defense unit. Door swings open through which you can see a long hallway, dimly lit red by alarm lights. Amidst the alarm screeching, you hear the sound of something approaching. Uh oh. Uh, take defensive positions. Oh my, what is this? Dice combat. <laughs> what? Okay, those are those are weird. Um, dice. It's like, okay, I, I understand that. The enemy has got a 50% chance to hit. And I have... A 33% chance to hit. A 33% chance for probably a... 
Uh, oh, we'll see. Dice combat allows battles outside of the ship to be resolved. The left side of your window represents your crew with their life points and wounds. They will cause if they hit. The right side indicates wounds and life on the enemy side. Under your crew, you will find your inventory, which allows you to use different weapons you have if you have the necessary action points. Ah, there. Those things. Okay. Um, there are three possible dice rolls. The blue dice represents your crew and red is the enemy. Total damage, half damage and action. Ah, okay. Then... Yeah, okay. The first two calculate the total amount of wounds that the group that gets the symbol makes. While the last one adds action points instead of damage, which allows you to use weapons or defense points. That's a little bit wild. This is like... It reminds me a little bit of uh, the Star Wars tabletop. We have also have like weird dice. What is this? Automated turrets. Rusty defense robot. Rusty defense robot. Oh yeah, okay. And uh, what is that? Bulletproof vest. I have two points. What if I roll the dice? Just simply? Six attack. Wait, what? And now I choose what I want to use or what? Damage is a specific enemy precisely. Attack two, cost two, quantity six. Damage is a random enemy. SMC submachine gun. Cost two, attack four. You can say that combat gets dicey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Items are something optional. Okay, but... Resolve roll? Ah! So, ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, and now I have action points that I could use. Cost two action points. Ah, okay. Victory. I think I understood it. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> we'll find out in the next fight. But, um, yeah. Good. Is this D&D? Well, it, no, not really D&D. It's more like other systems. Uh, it works uh, it works a little bit like other systems like um if you ever played or heard of that star wars tabletop game they have different dice they also have like diff like those dice do have different effects in something and you roll like your own dice and you roll like the enemy die uh dice and the, only the the game master knows what's actually going on it's like i don't know <laughs> I don't know yet. We'll go we're probably going to play that next after our D&D &D campaign, so I will let you know. Your crewman take position and prepare to open fire from the end of the hallway. Two fairly disused and broken turrets float into view. They begin to fire. After a few minutes of crossfire, you are able to take them out. You advance through the hallway and search the different rooms that you find. You arrive at the bridge where you should find a log of all recent dockings or other events of note. The large computer that occupied the room is completely destroyed. You can continue advancing throughout the smaller rooms, encountering no sign, no sign of anyone, or clues as to what could have happened. In one of the workshops, you find plans for weapons prototypes. Your engineers might be able to make use of them. All right. That's it? Good. So? We've looked Maybe. over the station. There are no survivors. But... but this can't be happening! We have to inspect the last station. I think I've had enough. We should head back. 
This oversteps your jurisdiction. Mr. Huggins, you can come with us, or you can stay here. You decide. One second. This looks up close. It looks so nice. But in here... This is an outrage! You guys are kidnapping me! Preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit. All right, fine. I'll go with you. Oh. Since you had attack six damage spread across them, but they only had five health total. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand all. No idea. <laughs> no idea. Yay! Fireworks. You finally arrived at the station after hearing Inspector Huggins' complaints the entire time. You cannot wait to finish the mission. Everything looks calm on the station when suddenly a group of ships appear in the area. They are pirate ships. You recognize ex Plyo's emblem on their hulls. Maybe they want revenge? There's no time to lose. You order your crew to prepare to defend the station. Captain, the station is under attack. I told you we should have gone back. We can still turn the ship around. Hold yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Crew, stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. Sir, yes, sir. Nice. Oh, no, that's friendly. Friendly. Where are the others? Is there another one? Yay. Thanks, Captain. Those pirates appeared out of nowhere. They want to take our Protonite temples. We're lucky you were right when you did. You safe now? Are you safe now? You calm the station director by promising him that you will alert your superiors so they can send patrol ships to the zone. He shows great relief as he thanks you for the help. Are these attacks normal? No! This area is usually very peaceful, but the past few days there have been a few skirmishes between pirates and trade ships. But this exceeds any other incident we've had to date. Do you have any form of information that could be deemed useful? Uh, he responds, I have no idea what they could want besides our protonite, although an attack of this scale doesn't make sense. Oh, wait a moment. Direct disappears from view only to return short time later. I've been informed that we've recovered an encrypted transmission on one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Thank you. Captain, the corrupt transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. <laughs> Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. Understood. One second, I need to loot. Before I do anything else, I need to loot. Great. Awesome. Begin researching the coded data. Ah, researching. Wait, inventory. I am. Okay. Departments. Research. Waiting to start new research. Corrupt data. Our work here is done. Let's head back to the station. I think I need a vacation. 
We're good. Uh, return to entrance point. Go to Pulse or Ship Repair. Okay. Ooh, I can't answer that. Arthur has to answer that. <laughs> if, if there are other ships that you can get. I haven't played this game ever before. This is my first time playing this game for... Uh, we're like in for one hour now. So, no idea. <laughs> At least you're not crashing into the station. Why do I always get a different Station control tower here? Dock at the assigned bay. Over. I always get a different Receiving docking spot. coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Yes, you can buy new ships, buy new crew, buy new weapons. Okay, cool. This X two point five, hey wee wee. Great. Huh, funny. Uh, pulsar repair, sh pulsar ship repair. Once back at the station, Howard gives a terse goodbye and walks away. Susan comes up to you with a more cheerful demeanor. You're finally back. Inspector Huggins looked a bit out of sorts. Did everything go well? Uh, it's best not to ask. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Susan looks away a few seconds but recomposes herself and quickly resumes the conversation. In any case, we have good news. It was tough, but your ship's repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers and come visit us if you are ever back in the sector. I hope we never come back here. Of course, we'll see each other again. Captain, our scanners detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. You okay. Uh, nice. How is the world built up? Are there sectors like in X4? Or is it just a big open space? No, there are. I cannot show you right now. Wait. There is a star map. There's stuff going on. It's a little bit like... It's maybe like a 3D X4 map. Not as big, but still big enough, I guess. Stress signal. Okay. A lot of pew pew. Nice. A lot of pew pew. I like that there's no autopilot. It would make it way too simple. Get blueprint from research, you can build the same quality or better. Ooh. Transmission from a civilian ship interrupts an otherwise tranquil voyage. Captain, thank goodness you arrived. A terrible disease has spread throughout the crew of my ship and some of its passengers as well. Sadly, we don't have a medic on the ship. It could be quite serious. Signals of what type? Contagious? We don't know, Captain. We need a doctor urgently. Oh no. Oh my god! How can a lung come out of his ear like that? What the... It's not pot. Stop it. Do you hear that? Those are the screams of the rest of the infected. Amongst them... Are some kids, orphans and maybe a few puppies. Hold on, we'll sell, uh, send our scientists to your aid, I guess. 
scientist, huh? Ah, oh, eight. Ooh. I wonder if it's on Nexus. I don't think so. Our scientists arrive at the ship and quickly run diagnostics and multiple tests. After a little over an hour, it appears they've detected the source of the infection. Captain, it seems that this is due to a fungus found on the planet that you've arrived from. Upon subjecting yourself to the chemical processes of atmospheric exit, it mutates and can cause completely unexpected effects on humans. Luckily, we have the products needed to neutralize the effects in the laboratory. After a few hours, everyone's symptoms have died down. <clears throat> Is there a laser beam? Oh god. Time to grow a third arm. A fungus arm. Ew. In Nexus doesn't work. Um. Yeah, Nexus doesn't work. Anyway. Use the star map to fly to test at Stella. Investigate the remaining points of interest. Optional. Investigate the remaining points of interest. What? The what? There's just an allied station. What do you mean? Uh, in... What? Points of interest? Where do, I, where do I see points of interest? M is that. What's U? Oh, yeah, okay. There are some buttons that you can press. What's O? B? Bug report. Oh, yeah, okay. P? I? Uh-huh. That's it. Tasks. I don't see another point of interest. Yeah, I don't see another point of interest. Doesn't matter. Uh, tested Stella. Let's go. Captain, the investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked up in the slaver's headquarters. I think you need to hear this immediately. Nartos, Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Situation Report Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Perfect. The Galactic Summit is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. I can't believe it. We have to relay this as soon as possible. Understood, Admiral. Although there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he destroyed our ships. Take care of him as soon as possible. Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations are supplied. Break their will and if necessary, kill them all. May Ooh. the sun light your way, Commander. Damn it. Dude. We need to. Uh, we need. We need a nice picture with with a fight or something. We'll keelhaul them all. Ex Pleo out. What do they want? Sorry, dude. Haven't listened. I want to take pictures. 
not listening. We welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers, where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. What is the meaning of this, Nardos? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out for the security and common interests of the universe for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. Just a few, Admiral? We, oui. we, oui. we've oui. been complacent for too long, but that's oui. over now. We, oui. the children of the sun will no longer be led by an oui. unworthy puppeteer. It's time to cut those cables and strangle our detractors with them to the last. Admiral, this is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. Surrender or die. Nardas, be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. Whoa. Defend headquarters. Oh boy. Okay, I wanted to fight, so here we go. Wait, let me get into a nice position. Ow, ow, ow. What is this? What? <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Yo, my goodness. Funny. That may be better. <laughs> it's a disco party. Yeah, exactly. The music. I feel like on a rave. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. The children of the sun are attacking the headquarters. All right, great. Maybe we need to have like a very cool looking. Still need a very cool looking fight or something. Cool looking shot. Come, 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 come. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Look at that. Oh boy. That's a nice one. Yeah. Give me a good picture.
Nice. adjustment or does that even do anything? I don't know. All right. We're... Sorry, I'm like <laughs> So into making pictures. It looks so good. Captain, our shields have been damaged. We won't hold out much longer. Our shields have fallen. Take that that dude out. I cannot take the big dude out. This is pointless. Ah, who's doing that? Stop that. There are lasers, okay. as you see. Back here. Well, I think we'll die here or something. The armor around one of our engines has been destroyed. Yeah. I don't think that we're supposed to. Explosion imminent. I don't think that we're supposed to to win this. The space station has been destroyed. What the heck? Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> That's not what I wanted! Oh god. The space station! Backwards. That's a 
big boom here. Captain, engineering workshop has suffered a massive breach. Oops, Alert. 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 Decompression imminent. Remember, Diaz, leave the room That's an order. Sorry, Captain. It's too late. I have to close the doors to avoid the entire ship's decompression. Where are Don't all of them? Do you hear me? I forbid the closing of those bay doors. Manual lock activated. Closing bay doors. It's been an honor, Captain. No! Take one more with me. I'll end you, Nartos. One more! One more! Change in security protocol requested. Yeah! Confirmation required. One more! Captain James Scott of the Interstellar Republic ID 4128C. Deactivate protection protocols. One more! Crew security protocol has been deactivated. Captain, the systems will not support the overcharge. The probability of death is 100%. We cannot allow the children of the sun to get away with this. My full power. Yes, Captain. Life support offline. Defense systems offline. Redirecting power. Power at 110 percent. 250 percent. 500 percent. 1,000 percent. Right. I guess that sums up the prologue. <laughs> My situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew, crew dead. I see. So this is it, right? M A R system. Protocol error. D -d Damage. Easy. I'm here with you. Rest, my. Rest. The end of the beginning. Hey, error name. Hey, Fire Gago, welcome on board. Herathos, hey, welcome on board. Yeah, this was the prologue. This was the prologue. All right, okay, so uh, thing is. Not just dinky garbage. <laughs> let me let me do one more one quick thing. Mm. One second. One 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 second. One sec. Mm. No, not in there. Not in there, Arthur. Okay, great. And now let's start the real game. The real, real game. A new campaign. Ooh, death is not the end. If you die, you will continue from this cannot be changed during the game. Death is definitive. If you die, you will have to start your game over. You will keep all blueprints and stash died. Oh God. Uh, Nexus. Space rowboat with a cannon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, standard difficulty can be modified. Enemies are tougher. You get less rewards. Interceptions are more frequent. It can be changed. Interceptions are more frequent. Yeah, whatever. Dice rolls. Enabled, disabled. If you deactivate the dice rolls, there will not be any rolls in the events. No, I like that. It's okay. Dice combat can be disabled. Negative attributes effects. 
Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and we're dead. Game over. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Oh, can you choose which ship you want to fly? Oh, you have three ships at the start to choose from. Interesting. So, the Mercury Talium is a small cruiser. Mercury's development engineers achieve great agility and acceleration by reducing Talium's hull armor and defensive capability. In addition to being fast and agile, the Thallium has superior shield generators normally found on more advanced ships. Okay. Weapon energy really bad, shields are good, engine power and agility is maximum. Wow, this is bad. <laughs> the Infinite Astro is a C-class cruiser normally used to transport medium loads in hazardous areas. Its nine engines are capable of providing good acceleration despite the mass of the ship and its cargo. It's an older model, but it's still widely used today, with some pirates taking advantage of its size to modify the ship by adding more weaponry. The engine power is so bad. Can you choose from the armament, or is that all the armament? Yeah, that's all the armament. Burst ability is fantastic. For a short time, the weapons fire at high speed without consuming energy. Well, all of them have... Ah, no. The, okay, this one does not have the burst. This one does have burst. The Cosmos Transporter is a very versatile and well-balanced C-class cruiser. Its low manufacturing cost makes it one of the most common ships in the Republic fleet. It also offers ample space for both crew and cargo. Among its weakness it's, uh, are its poor agility and lower acceleration. Redamage. Shield recharge. I mean, that's just. It, it looks wild, but it's five and the other one is six. Also, six. Weapon energy 150, 150, 150. They all got the same weapons. Resistance. Resistance is futile. Agility. This one is nice. Way more resistance. Less shield. 300 less shield. Even less shield. Even more resistance. Is that the one with the beam at the front? <laughs> I think we're going to take this here. It also looks cool. Mighty Lion. Lol. You can choose the emblem. Oh, and the color of the ship. Oh, cool. Orange. Yeah, that's nice. Or uh, yellow. Mighty Lion. No. Oh. Straya. Ah, oh, it's even written in there. Nice. Wait, let me do. Hello. Why can't I not write big letters? What's going on? SNS is Nice. Emmanuel, good morning. Uh, bonjour. Danny, hey, good morning. Welcome on board. Always want to take a look at this game? Whoa, be my guest. We already threw the prologue and now we're advancing into the standard campaign. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. No way. Captain Pierre Toussaint. Captain... Why? Why can I not... Make capital letters. What the heck? Like... Colin. Cap Collins! Nice. <laughs> Love it. Okay, great. Does that change some stuff? Trigger happy weapons, Mike, Captain, Scavenger. I cannot click on that. Why not? Appearance. 
Oh my god. All of them look worse than every Skyrim character. <laughs> and Skyrim is like, what? 13 years old? That's okay. But, but that doesn't really know. Whatever. Wait, I'm a captain. I should be like, old. <laughs> that looks like Prince William. <laughs> Sorry, Prince William. But it is Prince William. Oh my god. I want the other dude back. Yeah, why not? Whatever. Starfield level, Mike C. <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> Crazy eyes. It says the same in Starfield. Okay, but I cannot click those. Those are just scavenger more resources are looted for enemies better missiles but worse lasers shoot faster but with less accuracy increase damage but energy cost increase how can i change that oh i need to oh okay okay wait nearsighted reduces the intensity of the zoom <laughs> Ooh, look at that increased zoom intensity reduces reload time reduces hull maximum store price are increased by 15 percent Paulo Fernandez. They all look traumatized. Ouch. <laughs> you will lose or gain while playing. Depends on your decisions. Those traits. Oh. 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 No. No. The Zemo are coming for us. Protect me. Protect me. Damn it. One second. Where is it? There. Great. All right. Start campaign again. We already choose that ship in yellow with... I didn't choose which, which thing I wanted. Yeah, that's nice. I don't get it, but okay. Uh, continue. No, it does look different again. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> More resources are looted from engines, increases engines power, better lasers, but worse missiles. Okay. Uses the damage of the impacts on the hull. Huh. Hey, two sting. Good morning. Welcome on board. One to one face expression. Increase engine power. The crew members gain more XP. Reduce shield maximum points. Increase the agility even more. More resources are looted. Better laser but worse missiles. Increase the reload time. I don't know. Increases zoom, shield, crew members gain more XP, better lasers but worse missiles, increased damage but energy cost increases, more accuracy but shoots slower. I don't need that. Increase the zoom, I don't care. How about we can get more resources and increased agility or something. 
More resources increases the charisma level by one. Four prizes increases the Captain Richter. Um, increases zoom is so unimportant, I guess. Store prizes so unimportant. Uses engine power. That's probably fine. Uses reload times. Crew members gain more XP, increase the damage, more accuracy, but shoot slower, increase the reload time. Increase engine power. I don't know! Give me like one of those. I need a good one. Increase the agility. Increase the agility. Increase the damage. Shoot faster but with less accuracy. Increase the reload time. You'll be happy. I guess that's that's okay. Mikhail. Alright. Awesome. Select. Let's go. You lose traits and gain new ones, so don't attach yourself to them. Okay. Captain, we're in the sectors adjacent to Tacit Stella. The War Council will not be held for another two days. Oh, that looks nice. Look at how shiny that is. How shiny. <laughs> Understood, May. We'll take advantage of the downtime to supply our ship and patrol the area. Input coordinates to the nearest space station. No need, Captain. Our power levels will let us fly for at least another two weeks. We've spoken about this, May. The crew is exhausted. They've been eating nothing but synthetic proteins for a month. They need a breather. Aye, Captain. Coordinates set. Okay, interesting. How does our ship look like? Cannon, light plasma cannon. Light plasma cannon. Wait, why do you... Why not like that? Cannon, plasma, plasma. I guess. Alright. Fling away. Uh, what do you want? Spend time wisely until the war council investigating neighboring sectors and accepting few contracts. Stress signal, suspicious activity. What's the other one? Stress signal. I have no idea. Whatever. Suspicious activity. Let's go there. They haven't even started doing anything, but whatever. Rebel Galaxy Clone. Not really. Although? No, not really. What do we got? Save the game. Save the game. Or I will sing again. We just started. You arrive at the corresponding coordinates and find a suspicious ship. The best thing to do would be to send them a transmission to identify them. May opens the communication and directs a call to your terminal. A woman appears on screen who remains silent, waiting for you to start the conversation. Hello, what are you doing here? Oh, greetings, Captain. We're the Zodiac ship's crew. We're passing through. We transport a shipment of food and mechanical parts. Okay, so where are you headed? To the port of Antros, Captain. We're actually pretty late. We must keep going our way as our way as soon as possible. Would you mind if I take a look at the cargo? Aptitude five plus. 
Ooh, uh, okay. Yay! Your The nervous woman allows your docking request. After passing the gate, the crew welcomes you and guides you to the ship's hold. You spend time checking some of the crates without finding anything. Normally you would leave at that, but clearly they are hiding something. It would have been enough for the captain to be present to clarify everything, but instead five crew members are standing by stonily while you check the hold. Search more carefully. <laughs> hey, Loic, welcome aboard. Good morning. That's a, I call this a spaceship RPG. And, uh, well, with, with some special things going on. Like rolling dice. Another six. Okay. You put your arm into a crate full of bearings and you immediately notice the trick much earlier than expected. You touch a board that does not match the depth of the container. It's a false bottom. With a glance, you make a sign to the crew as your hosts begin to draw their weapons. Oh my god. Baldur's Space 3. <laughs> uh, Baldur's Space Take cover. All right. Oh, that's the only one I got. A Republic pistol damages a random enemy. What? Okay. Interesting. What about those die? Whatever. Oh, the dice. Yay. Four. Got two points. Can I use this? Oops. Okay, cool. Resolve roll. Pew, 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 pew. Nice. Can I now shoot again? Oh, no. Okay, I, I first need to roll the dice. Okay. Oh, no. They hit. Five attack. What? Haha. -ha, one less. No. Oh. Yeah. This is actually a tabletop. <laughs> kind of. Okay, I'm I'm going to get all of them, but I hope that they are not shooting one guy. Wait, mine are being My attacks are being counted first and then their attacks. Okay. Victory. In a second, you position yourselves, taking cover, and the skirmish begins. The shots illuminate the room, hitting some of the crates, spilling their contents. It is clear that they do not care much about what is in them. Just a minute later, all you can only hear are some pieces rolling on the floor. You have taken out the crew. Let's see what they were hiding. You empty the crates and check their bottoms. Uh, the crew breaks the boards and your suspicions are confirmed. As you imagined, in more than one crate, the rear cargo was hidden underneath a fake bottom. Covered in turn by mechanical pieces to confuse whoever opened the crates. Nearly a dozen of them contain vials of cetar resin, a highly toxic substance for humans and highly priced on the black market. Well, okay, to be fair, in uh, the prologue we have been the hero, um, but the hero died and now we're just a simple captain flying in a rather small ship. So, that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Checking bottoms. <laughs> Confiscate the cargo. You're... Okay, uh, what's that? Wait. We done here? Good. Nice. What do we got? Departments, engineering workshop. Scrapping workshop. Nothing there. Research. What's that? Shield inverter. Research cost. 700 credits. Vacancy. Tasks. Killing time. 
Oh, killing time. It's not. <laughs> it's not killing time, but it's killing time. Ah, uh, okay. I understood now. I thought it's killing time. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Okay, great, great. <laughs> it's killing time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I also thought murder. Damn. The rain was calling murder. And I was confused. <laughs> Stop killing time. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> they are jamming our engines, Captain. What? Congratulations, Ooh. you've made it onto my blacklist. Ah! Ow. Ow! Get away from me! The enemy ships has been destroyed. Here. Stop hurting me! I used the, the burst fire. Here. I'm a good captain. I use my abilities. Oh, damn it. Uh, I can't see. Where are you? Come, 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 come. God, this is so not accurate. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Done. Well done. Well May, done. Send a damage report to my terminal immediately. And loot. You're. You're. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. Game looks interesting. Hey, Lady Death, good morning. Yes, it does look interesting, doesn't it? Uh, laser interceptor. Can I put this on here? Energy ammunition. Energy ammunition, energy ammunition. I think so. Departments, engineering. Can, wait, can I? Um, repair my ship? Reparare? Reparare? It's 40% Ah, oh, yeah, exactly. That's another thing. It's at the moment 40% off on Steam. Oh, oh, where we are. There. At the moment, 40%. But only... For the next Been three days. For too long. But Only for the next three days. 40% off on Steam. Uh, distress. Oh, that was not distress signal. That was just a random encounter. How can I repair myself? Get back to work. Do I need to go back to the station to repair myself? Put some duct tape on it will be fine. <laughs> yeah, right. New, 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 new. Just opened Steam and went back to the X4 screen in the store and guess who was broadcasting? <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's a me. Um, once you have confirmed the signal on the monitors, you can glimpse an abandoned ship through the bridge's bay window. You immediately get chills. The hull seems intact and distress signal, coupled with the lights, which are still online, confirms the power system is undamaged. Your terminal lights up and crew member Bakop... Uh, ...gives her report on the situation. Captain, the ship's crew is unresponsive to our incoming transmissions. We'll keep a safe distance until further orders. <clears throat> uh, get the suits. We're going in. 
Pilot, okay. take us to the next target. Let's go. Have you seen what EA did recently? They posted the whole of CNC and some of their old games on Steam for reasonable prices. Um, I heard something about this, yeah. But what's a reasonable price? Hey, Alva, good morning. Welcome on board. Get more engine power. Let's go. It will be full of aliens or it's an obvious trip. I've seen this before. <laughs> nice. Hey, Dexter. Good morning. Six dollars. The whole Command and Conquer, like we're talking about everything. Generals, Red Alert, Red Alert 2, Renegade, everything. 12 games. Wait, let me see. Let me see. How is it called? Command and Conquer. The ultimate collection. Ah, uh, every single game for 10 euros. It's not like the whole package is 10 euros. I thought the entire package is 10 euros. It's just every single game for 10. Okay, I see. Whoa, but look at that. Generals and Generals Zero Hour. Zero Hour is, is just... Isn't that just a DLC? Oh, is that the second one? And Renegade. Where's Renegade? Renegade! Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Emotional damage! Uprising. Raph. Yeah, those are just DLCs. Also for 10 euros. Mm. Man and Conquer 4? I've never seen that. I didn't know that that was a Command and Conquer 4. <laughs> if I'm honest. Okay. Whole package. The whole package. Click on one game. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 No way. Click on one game. Included with EA Play. Buy Command and Conquer the Ultimate Collection Bundle. 988. The entire bu All games? All right, I will, I, will, I will do that later. Add it to my cart. <laughs> Damn, okay, crazy. We don't talk about CNC4. I want to play this. <clears throat> Zero hour is standalone expansion. Ah. All the games in the package are uncensored. Wait, what? Wait. You mean, no way. You're telling me that those are not cyborgs that we're playing with, but actual people? Because in Germany, we only played with cyborgs. Also, there was one unit that we never had in Germany, I think. Uh, especially in, like, generals, there was one unit that we never had. I, I think a... A... Um, a... Uh, like a person with a with with a with a bomb, the suicide bomber. Yeah, I think that's the one. That I, 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 we never had this. Um, we never had this unit. EA releasing CNC five, maybe. You are listed as Entwickler Übertragung. <laughs> I know, holy. I know. Good morning. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on board. I know. Wait, the gas. I I don't I don't remember. But we had like we had like some stuff that was just different. Also, all the command and conquer, um, all the command and conquer parts always had 
cyborgs in them. They all all the all the units were cyborgs. And when you killed them, I think there was not there, there was no blood at all. Like it was not red blood. It was probably green or nothing at all. I don't remember anymore. I'm still playing X4, yeah, every Friday. Yep. Whoa, crazy, okay. They don't include the remastered games. Ah, okay. Yeah, well. Whatever. Cool, I will get that. Maybe we're going to play that on stream. Who knows? Maybe Command & Conquer 4 on stream. Uh, the coupling request has gone unanswered, so the only viable route is to force the hatch open. The antechamber leading to the interior of the ship would make sure complete decompression is avoided. The well-chosen safety measure to ensure rescue is possible in the case of an opening systems failure. Your crew gets to work and they exit the ship with their spacesuits on. In but one hour, the machinery is positioned and ready to force the opening of the hatch as if it were made of tin. of multiplayer systems. Oh. Question for shipyards. 100 whole parts. Odd for me. <laughs> Only good thing in CNC4 is Kane as a character. <laughs> we'll see. May reroute power. You board the ship and make sure the power flux is stable. Upon confirmation from the engineers and receipt of the toxicity readings from the scientists, you proceed through the decompression room and remove your helmets to continue investigating. You traverse the corridors with caution, alert to any signal that might indicate Im imminent danger. Silence. Absolute silence. Not even the slightest sound comes from any of the rooms you leave behind. This is baffling. The ship was in good shape, even though the crew had disappeared. You hope that at least the May system will shed some light on what has happened. Uh, we'll stick together. Or actually, you know what? We should divide into smaller groups to search for groups. Following your orders, the crew separates into groups to search for survivors along different paths. Kim and Lo remain behind to guard the rear. Kim and Lo. Scientists and specialists. Something snapping behind a hedge puts you on alert. You raise your hand to indicate to the crew following you that you are going to enter. You activate the opening of the hatch and the room's entrance opens wide. You descend the stairs in front of you until you reach the ship's cargo hold. You notice amidst the shelves some strange and antique looking objects, seemingly older than space travel. Scrolls of parchment, statu statuettes and other utensils that you would not know how to describe occupied most of the inventory of the ship. An archaeologist ship? Smugglers or robbers, rather. You follow Logue's gaze and see various ammunition crates and weapon cases. Pick up as many weapons as you can, they will come in handy. <laughs> handy. <laughs> Let's do that. A grenade launcher. Oh god. I'm, uh, I'm I'm hesitant to use grenade launchers on spaceships, but maybe it's just me. The crew pick up some of the crate. Some of the cases containing the different weapons until the sound of gunfire coming from the level above makes you all look at each other in surprise. Regroup. You run as fast as you can towards where the gunshots came from. From afar you see the hatch of one of the rooms wide open and you enter it. You make it past the threshold and the first thing you see is crew member Ivanov bleeding profusely from a gash on his head whilst keeping his still smoking weapon raised. At his feet, you can see the corpse of a man clinging to a stone drenched in blood. What happened here, Ivanov? Ivanov turns to look at you and immediately responds, Captain, the scumbag was hiding like a rat. He attacked us from behind with that stone he has in his hands. The rest of the crew reports on their findings. Everyone agrees that there's no trace of any other survivors and that the ship's MIA Ma May system seems to be damaged. With no other clues to follow, you prepare to leave the ship. You are barely a couple of steps from the exit when you think you hear one of your crew members call you from behind. What is it? No one said a thing, sir. 
Suddenly you feel your hands grow heavy and look down at them. The same stone the man was clinging onto before he was executed is now in your hands. You do not remember when exactly you picked it up, but you can see that it is some sort of treasure. <laughs> Let's head back to the ship, giving me a migraine. My precious. <laughs> leveled up! Hey, wait, I leveled up. What does that mean? It said something about I leveled up. Who members? Captain. Level 2. Available points. Ah, okay, cool. Charisma. Aptitude. The captain and their crew work in more competent manner, making the ship and its system work with higher performance. Leadership. The captain leads the team in a more efficient manner. Increase the experience gain of your crew. Huh. Luck. Increase the chance <coughs> of critical shots by 2%. Reduce the probability of wounds in combat. Leadership is nice, I guess. Doink. Great. The next one, 4. And maybe that. Aptitude. 1%. SP gain seems like the best choice. Yeah, true, doesn't it? Especially at the start. When you can get experience gains very fast at the start, everything else will be easier. My precious. <laughs> Ship is filled with space farts. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Stetters. Welcome on board. By the way. Okay, good. I got my precious. Since my ship did not get more damaged, I will just go to the next distress signal and see what's going on there. Killing time! <laughs> it's officially killing time. Research the tablet, maybe? Ooh, that's a good idea. I didn't... I didn't think about that. Wait, can I drop out of? Yes. I didn't think about it. Oh, it's not here. There's no tablet. Maybe I can scrap it? Space garbage. Scrap. Plate remains. Scrap. Those in here. Nothing I can really do with this stuff. Okay. Is there a limit? <laughs> we'll find out soon. Yeah, nothing I can do. Good idea. Though. Mobsgeschwindigkeit. Uh, what do you consider the best space game there is? <laughs> they are jamming our engines, Captain. Oh no. Activate the shields! All hands to battle stations! Where are they? has been destroyed. Nice. Very fast, that was good. Stop! Leave me alone! Oh, damn it. Target's neutralized, crew. We're out of danger. Let's see. All right. Ha! That's a that's a tricky question. What's the best space game? There are space games that do specific things very very good, uh, better than others. Mine launcher. Ooh. Scrapping. What's that? Damage plate. Damage remains. What's that? Mine launcher. Pro Projects a minefield that explodes on contact. I don't like that. Argonic laser cannon. Argonic laser cannon. Light plasma cannon. Argonic laser cannon. Hull damage 15. Accuracy 
accuracy range superior quality what does that even mean can i get rid of that i want to get rid of that Can take it out? Okay, I can take it out. Yeah, whatever. That sells for a high price? <laughs> Save it. Superior quality. Okay. I don't know what's the high price, no idea. Um Seems like you don't have much power allocated to the shield, unless it doesn't work like that. What is your favorite start scenario in X4? Hey, Kawada. Welcome board. Favorite start scenario in X4? Depends on what you want to do. Are you new to the game? Do Terran Cadet. Are you not new to the game? You want to be like a pirate or something? There's so many things. You want to play as a Boron? Play as Boron. Um, I don't really have a favorite. I only have like a recommendation for new players and that's Terran Cadet. Everything else is just... It doesn't really matter after two hours or something. Well, I mean, you still like the character that you choose, but anything else doesn't really matter. You can attach the weapon and try out in space if you like it. There's start where you begin with no ship. Would that be possible? Impossible? There... Uh, oof. That would be actually impossible because there... You cannot, like, book rides, you know? I mean, you can start with a... You can start in a spacesuit. That's possible. You can start without any properties or anything. But you will be just sitting at a station and just trying to, I don't know, get some trading running or that doesn't really, no. <laughs> Born start has the best goodies. <laughs> well, all right. Um, I do mean I can try it out. Can I put this into? Yeah, I cannot put this into. Oh! Those are lasers. Okay. Interesting. Lasers. This thing looks like a looks like a missile with those engines. A transmission from a civilian ship interrupts an otherwise tranquil voyage. Captain, thank goodness you arrived. A terrible disease has spread throughout the crew. That's the same thing that we already encountered. A sickness of what type? This is exactly what we already discovered. Okay. Let me see if I can get medicine. Not bad. <clears throat> Laser on top and check range of all weapons if you need to get close. Yeah. Okay. A few hours. Well done, crew. Dice in the dining room. The exhaustion from a long day's work is starting to sink in. Maybe it's time to relax a bit. Wait, what? Dice in? The what? Dice in the dining room. Bridge. <laughs> a long yawn echoes from the command bridge. The crew has long retired to rest. And the deathly silence along with the dim lighting of the monitors have pushed you to your limit. 
May, I'm going to rest for a while. Let me know if there's any news. Roger that, Captain. I got this. Get up to stretch your back and run your head over your belly. You had your last meal a short while ago, but your stomach is rumbling with hunger. Head to the dining room. You go down the stairs and walk down the hall in silence. During these quiet moments, the ship seems like a different place. Nothing to do with the busiest hours. Now that the corridors and most of the rooms are empty, you enjoy the leisurely stroll. The hatch to the dining room opens and you step inside. At one of the tables, several crew members laugh, laugh, engrossed in what they're doing, although you don't pay much attention to them. You go straight to one of the fridges and grab a piece of fruit. Would you like to join us, Captain? Get closer. You take a bite of the piece of fruit and walk over to the table. Charpentier rolls the dice and stands up in excitement. Double betrayal in your face! <laughs> The crew members are playing The Fleet, a very popular dice game. The goal is to add figures to subtract lives from the rest of the players. The last player alive wins. How much is the bet? 200 credits. Look at the rest of the crew, you'd be 5 players, so the profit would amount to 800 credits per round. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Grab a chair and sit next to Charpentier. You're still sleepy, but you're holed out long enough to pluck them a bit. You grab the cup and get ready to roll the dice. Get ready, Bakup. I haven't yet forgotten about the foundation day. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. No! Charpentier makes the last roll and Bakup smiles satisfied with a quick move. You collect the dice with the cup and look at Mbako defiantly. Let's keep playing. <laughs> I'm... I'm, uh, I'm chasing my losses. No! <laughs> Damn it! This time it's Mbakob who ends the round getting the victory. It's been nice, guys, but it's time to get some sleep. So you quit, Captain? Come on, one last round. <laughs> My losses! I lost 400. I can get 800. That would be a profit of 400. Come on! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> See? Always good to roll the dice. <laughs> Read through the CNC reviews before buying. CNC 4, for instance, has overwhelming negative since it can't be played with the servers being shut down. Since it can't be played with the servers being shut down? Wait. CNC 4 was live service? In 2010? Really? Maybe there is a mod or something for that. Well, I, I will take a look. Um, you hit the cup hard against the table and look at the rest of the players. You slowly pick it up and smile when you see the roll that ends the game. You rise with a victory pose as the crew laughs. And once again, Captain Collins stands victorious. <laughs> and once again, Captain Collins stands victorious. <laughs> ah, safe. I have to admit it, it's been a good game. Maybe next time. Uh, now pick all this up and go to rest for a while. May will wake up, uh, wake up us, wake us up in a few hours. Right, back to work. Killing time. Was it with Game Spy? CNC4 felt like multiplayer only mobile game with campaign just taped on top. Great. Okay. Let's go to the station and repair. I will probably get ambushed again, and there's a fight.
Well, that's a nice looking planet with the blue. Wait, what do you want? I don't want to be in here. I want to take a picture. Or how about if we do this and then take a picture? Yeah. Oh God! Stop with the with the sound, please. Got the game? Great. Seriously? Another interception? Congratulations, you've made it onto my blacklist. Yeah. Oh, we need to fly. I forgot. One of the enemy ships has been destroyed! One of the enemy ships has been destroyed. That's right. Ah, 52%. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Ah, leave me alone. Damn it. Ah! Oh no! Ah! Can you do you like evasive maneuvers or something? Damn. Who member wounded? Ah, oh, nice. Well done. May, send a damage report to my terminal immediately. Sniper rifle. You got space garbage. Damn. Can you like right click, control click, shift click, all click, Start right click? Already! You need to drag and drop it? Oh my god. Okay, well, whatever. I guess. You're the, you're like sick bay. Oh yeah, okay. That's how it works. All right. Hey, Gana. Good morning. <laughs> Knew that it's you. Always oh, one hundred kilometers away from from any point. It was. Wait, what was that? What was that? Ah, oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Even the ship's AI is fed up with random encounters. Yeah, true. True, true. Republic ship requesting docking permission, please. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Oh. 
Everything is buzzing with light and so on. It's so damaged. Look at the entire buzzing with light. Yikes. 28%. Oh, my shields are not. Oh my goodness. I should have should have gotten a little bit more on my shields. A little bit more. More energy on my shields. Ah, yeah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Where's the light? There, green. Just stay there. Okay, great. <clears throat> Opening floodgates. What? That looks beautiful. An arcade. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, first, embark the ship you have previously. Uh, this is not it. Docks. No, I want my. I want to repair my ship. Oh, it's getting late. Back up. Should have arrived a while ago with the supplies you asked for. You walk up and down the spaceport, but little by little the anger turns to worry. Remember, Ivanov seems to guess your thoughts. Maybe we should look for Mbakov. It's like her. It's not like her to keep us waiting. Did you call her? A transmitter has no signal, Captain. Gru looks at each other with concern. It is certainly strange, but you may be overreacting. After all, it has only been a couple of hours. Let's give her another hour. You try to focus on your duties, but it is impossible. It has been over an hour and you still have not heard from Mbako. You should go find her. If something has actually happened to her, she could be in danger. But if all this is just a big waste of time, a good while scrubbing the ship's deck awaits her. You stand up and the rest of the crew looks at you, waiting for the order. Okay, let's go find her. Okay. Good. Nice. Nice. Guru spits up to find Mbakov. After a while, you see a large group of people in the distance. You approach them, fearing the worst. Lying on the ground in the midst of all those people, you identify your crew member. Mbakov, what happened? Uh, Captain? I was mugged before I could do anything. I'm sorry. I've lost the money you gave me for the supplies. Uh, you should rest. Oh, the... Ah... <laughs> The winds from the dice rolls. The, the 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 gambling winds are all gone. See? You gain some, you lose some. Ugh. Bakov's body and face are bruised. The bastards who have done this to her did not hold back in the slightest. At a glance, you can tell she has at least a couple of broken bones, as well as a severe head wound. You should take Bakov immediately to the ship for a full medical examination. You summon the crew who arrive promptly to carry her back to the ship. In the meantime, you question several of the onlookers, and it does not take long for the name of the Silver Hats to crop up. <laughs> the Silver Hats. That's right. They're a criminal gang that's been causing trouble in the city for quite some time. They rarely strike outside the territory. Your friend has been very unlucky. You tell me where I find them. The Silver has controlled the area east of here, which they call Spittle Avenue. For several years, the fights between rival gangs have made it an extremely dangerous place. My advice is that you stay away from there if you don't want to get in trouble. Trouble is just what I'm looking for. <laughs> you thank the man for his cooperation and you go back to the crew who await in silence. Your eyes meet and they nod without you having to say a word. <laughs> Without you, goddamn, we're the pirates. Without further ado, you all head to Spill Avenue. Those bastards will pay dearly for what they have done to Mbako. Let's go get them. Where is that arcade? No. Maybe. 
Uh, can you improve your dice skill? I think you can improve your skills so that the, uh, the, 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 the number you have to roll is getting lower. Yeah. Make a woofer. Uh, the arcade flashes dozens of bright lights and the noise of numerous machines deafen you. The anticipation fills you with a pleasant tingling feeling in your stomach. Go ahead. You enter the room of your crew and the adrenaline begins to curse through you. None of you feel any particular pre predilection for video games, with the sole exception of the combat simulation room. This technology comes from military training simulators, which you can access whenever you want, but are nothing like this. You are not sure how an entertainment company managed to obtain the license to distribute the simulator, modifying it as a game, making the experience inf infinitely more interesting. It is more dynamic than the boring training program program without losing any of its realism. It's like Arma. Facing a four-foot double-headed creature with your crew in a realistic and safe environment, the best combat training exercise you can think of. Enter the room. You enter a room where you all put on the devices and their activation brings on a sensation of plummeting into a void until you end up in a small room where you see your crew. Here you can make calibrations and select levels. The game is simple. Win every fight to unlock more levels. If you beat the last level, you win. If you die, you lose. In the simulation room, nothing that happens is real. As lucid as it may seem, all players exit in exactly the same condition as they entered. Understood? Let's start. You access the level section. Player, Mike Collins, available level 1. Mousetrap. You approach a strange abandoned ship in search of riches. But you are ambushed. Kill the assailants, assailants, and get out alive. All right. Again. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Interesting. Let's roll. Oh, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I should not use that, right? If if I use this, actually bad. It is gone if I use it. That grenade launcher looks like an MG3. What's going on? I'm questioning that myself like the, all the time. Gameception. <laughs> uh, pistol. Pam, Pam. All right. Let's roll the dice. Ooh! Ah, damn it. Is this? Okay, interesting. And two points. Bam. Bam. Hmm. Oh no! And this is just half damage. No, this is full damage. Ah, the other one was half damage. Okay, interesting. Bam. And another one. Come on, please. Ah! Let's go. Nice. The pirate leader is dead. Well, I don't need that anymore. There you go. Victory. Bad scenario disappears, sending you to the lobby where a new level is unlocked. The dead players are resurrected and they recover and they recover supplies. Oh, and they recover supplies. Oh, okay, great. Grenades on spaceship or station with vacuum outside from Bev swoosh. <laughs> Riots. The fold is one of the most dangerous areas of the galaxy. Kill the enemies of the Republic and get out of the city alive. Okay, let's go. Begin. Ooh, organizational leader. So I can use those immediately, right? Attack two. Attack three. Let's do that. Ah, I need to roll the dice first. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, let's do that. Nice. Nice. The mercenary is gone. 
That was minus one. When you... Okay, when they have like four attack, but you shoot down one of them. Um, that means they're losing this one attack point or two attack points or whatsoever. Okay, I see. Oh, great. Awesome. 8-0. Nice. Um, heals the selected member. Damages a specific enemy precisely. A heavy trooper. Ah, nice. Broken hinge in 60. Oh, God. Okay. Get yourself earbuds. Awesome. Oh, no! Uh, pistol. Another. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, that's enough. Four. That was the last one. Battle center disappears, sending you blah 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 and all the supplies. Satar attack. Two dangerous Satar have boarded your ship searching for resin in a fury. Don't let them kill you. Begin. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay. You rats explode after one year of use. Wait, what? Have you tried Steel Series? Try Steel Series. I got a Steel Series headset that is like absolutely perfect since years. Steel Series is really good. Oh, whoa. Eight attack. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Inflicts damage on a specific enemy. Nearby enemies are damaged as well. Uh, maybe I'm going to save that. Eight attack. Oh, goodness. Ah, full damage is the full. All of those attacks and half damage is like half of those attacks. This is their damage is like those attacks combined. That's eight. I finally understand how all of that works. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Okay, I want to use this on that guy. Bam. Okay, great. I want to use this. On that guy. Great. Mom. Mom. Oh, come on. Oh. Ay -ay -ay. Ay -ay -ay. Oh, lucky. Ooh, lucky, lucky. Yeah, nothing. Nice. Four and zero. Okay, great. Um... I want to get rid of that. Nice. Okay, base. whatever we do, this is, it is over. Doesn't matter. No, it will not happen. Bam. Victory. You can lose a level 20 max our crew member sometimes. It's always sad when it happens. Why are you on YouTube now? Type them! Exactly. Only issue with the hassle and the wrong start. 
Okay. Let's upgrade my Steel Series Octus Pro Wireless for Nova Pro Wireless. Nice. Kitchen. All right. End of the war. You're surrounded by the children of the sun who have come to, an e to end your lives. Show them the real power of the Intergalactic Republic and finish them all. Yo, children of the sun, admiral. Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Ah. Oh, lucky. Okay, I take the grenade launcher and I grenade the soldier. Bam. Dead. Woo. Okay. Uh, oh, lucky. Lucky, lucky. I take the sniper rifle and I take out the... Soldier. Awesome. Another one down. Nice. Whoa, lucky! Oh, three in a row. Nice. I take the sniper rifle and take out the elite soldier. Nice. Great. Ah, it's over. Doesn't matter. It's over. Yeah, it's absolutely over. Damn. Nice. Stream of luck. Probably. You told me, Captain, that I'm not subscribed on your YouTube channel yet. I've, I don't know. Are you subscribed to the uh, secondary channel? Captain Collins Uncut? Victory. I'm memory hacking. Yeah, sure. Level 5. There's no worse enemy than yourself. Destroy your clones to prove who's the real deal. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, these are not my clones. They have, like, more health. What? Damn you, clones. Ooh, 8-8. Eight, eight. Nah, boy. Ooh, nice. Come on, hit it once. Nice. Yikes. Oh, what? You kidding me? Okay, I'm taking out that guy. Bam. There you go. Come on, one hit. Oh, they took out Ivanov. Oh, maximum half. Nice. Okay, great. I'm taking out Musa. Bam. Only one attack left. And we're done. Awesome. That was the last one. God of destruction. The universe is in danger. Ola has awoken from his alternate dimension and is trying to destroy our reality. <laughs> what? Yo, whoa! Okay, I think that's where we that's where we end here. Oh, ooh. oh my god. Um Oh yeah, only shields. Ivanov, take it. Oh, lucky. Yay. Uh, grenade launcher. Sure. Damn. Woo! Lucky! Yeah! Oh. 
Ah. Uh, yeah, um, 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 I'll take out this guy. Now we got 100% to take out. Okay. It does, it's, it's not even that bad. Oh, damn it. Okay, whatever I do, I definitely take out at least one of them. Doesn't matter. Does oh wow now. <clears throat> Save ten thousand credits. Nice. RPG hits the adjacent ones as well as you should have shot the middle one. I know, but Yay! The last enemy bursts into a thousand tiny pieces and the state dissolves around you. You find yourself at the home screen again, an empty void, except for the effusive giant letters before you, declaring victory. Cheering, you and the crew exit the simulation room and you turn to the machine's screen. Please scan your card or subcutaneous chip to collect your reward. Nice. Cobrar la recompensa. What? <laughs> Is that not... Is that not translated? I think that's not translated. The credits are transferred to your personal account. You smile as you leave the arcade. The victory has put the group in high spirits and strengthened their capacity for teamwork. Getting a small reward on top of that is the icing on the cake. You might even buy them some dinner before boarding again. What do you mean? Small reward. I just doubled my credits. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. A happy, oh, the happy dog. You still have a long journey ahead of you, and it would not hurt to keep the evening's pleasures going a little longer. Awesome. Great. Now I think we're going to the commercial zone and fight those other guys, right? A real fight. Wait, no, that's not it. Crew members. Wait, can I buy those? Recruit. Oh, cool. Specialist. Scientist. Wait, what do we need? We have crew members. Engineer, specialist, scientist. <sighs> what are those good for? Specialist. Oh, available points. Oh, one second. I need to go to the bathroom really quick. as a crew member of Space Operation Delta. Thank you for the announcement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So are there more <clears throat> are there more professions than specialist engineer and scientist? And what do they do? Attack capacity one one one. Oh yeah, okay. Increases damage of protectors by weapons. Projectiles. 
energy weapons. Salvaging increases likelihood of better rewards. And scientist, medicine, investigation. And shields. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm just grabbing some so that we 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 actually have. Are those different? No. Michel Jouvet. <laughs> Let's recruit some. And that one. I guess that's fine. Can you change those? Huh, whatever. Okay. Uh, one point available. Hey, Diddy. Good morning. I am on tour and at the dock. What? Remember to save after this? Okay. If I remember correctly, you can go to special locations on the outside view of the station. Oh, okay. Uh, increased damage of projectile weapons. Let's do that. Um, her thing is projectiles, energy, salvaging, increased chance of finding rarer loot. Rare, rarer, rarer loot. Crafting resources when scrapping, increase the chance of raising the quality of fabrication. Augments the ship's hull resistance by 0%, next level 5%. Oh, 5% more hull. Interesting. Can you do that twice? Nice. Um, focus on one skill at a time on one crew member. I ah, okay. Investigation. Uh, shields. And I don't know. Medicine. Oh, no points available. I ah, okay because they're new. Okay, good. I have a backup crew member with the same skills if the first dies. <laughs> oh, okay, that can happen. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. Interesting. Ship status. I want to repair my ship. Yeah, they are oh, nice. You didn't see that, but this, that was just like here. That was just here. Prison. Here you can turn your prisoners in return for a reward. What? The heck? It will happen. So that means that I should already get like new people. Stash. Systems. Mine launcher. Shield inverter. Inverts the position of the ship's shields. The system reverses the position of the ship's shields along the front and right shields to move to the rear and left position. Okay. Can I sell some stuff? Sell? Where do you sell? Oh, not here, huh? Commercial zone, usually. Where? And I can click on locations on the station, you said. Oh, where? How oh, do you see those? How do you see those? Sell mine weapon or December for raw materials. <clears throat> yeah, where do I sell it? How do I sell it? Is 
So the headset I'm wearing is mostly metal and the most important piece that should be metal is damn plastic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Can't you like, can't you print it <laughs> again? Will you sell it? Put it in the stash. Yeah, well. Not every system will have a system to buy cell stations. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So th this this is not a station for buying and selling. Uh, hang on. We've been to the arcade. There's nothing more to do, right? Oh, again? Available level 11. Wait. Begin combat again? No. Not yet. Um... Okay. I think we're, we're good. Spend time wisely until the war council on investigating neighboring systems and accepting a few contracts. Accepting a few contracts? Well, there weren't any contracts. I am at a doctor. Yeah, but why? What happened? Oh my god. And save. How do you save? Is there a quick save? Save the game. Game save. Alright. What I would like to do right now is actually leave this. Exit to main menu and save. And come back to this on Wednesday if you're interested. Like, we just started the campaign. The prologue was amazing. And we're going back to this on Wednesday. What I want to do right now is I would like to play a little bit more Skyrim. I want to play a little bit more Skyrim. Not smoke on the water. Nope. Uh, but for YouTube, it's over. Thank you, YouTube, for being here. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, thanks for uh, enjoying Between the Stars with us. Um, hope you had, like, a good presentation of the game during this live stream. And I hope you're enjoying the VOD. Um, and tell me in the comments if, you, if you've seen everything, then uh, tell me in the comments if you liked it. Okay, great. Thank you very, very much, YouTube. Have a good one. We are continuing on, only on Twitch. If you want to see some Skyrim unmodified, completely vanilla, then jump over to Twitch. Thank you very much for being here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.